started this company 15 years back three of us and then now gradually it has grown over to a strength of about 1010 people of course first two years we had hardly about 20000 rupees as our turnover and now it has reached 400 plus crore rupees over a period of time uh, probably one of the fastest growing medium scale industry and uh, this journey uh, has been a very interesting one in the sense when anyone establishes a new company it can be done in two manners one is to build a huge infrastructure and then to run around for orders or contracts and all that and till the time you keep the investments with respect to plant machinery test equipment and of course human resources are not being utilized fully the second method is to gradually build up on the basis of how the markets continue or markets are obtained or markets are captured by the organization we chose the second methodology and slowly and steadily we have built up so a startup with three people has become a comparatively a, a quite a successful large scale medium scale industry i would call then the second thing is you will have to have your focus on what you are going to do clearly laid down in the beginning with certain flexibility of course and then ensure that these focused areas are kept in your purview and that's exactly what we did and we chose army and the paramilitary forces their equipment requirement as the first priority followed by that which is required by the air force navy we did not take on much in the initial stage but now we are getting into it slowly and steadily again the third thing which you have to do is in this domain defense or in you know, army there is a vast area of what exactly is the equipment or the technologies you want to concentrate upon we felt that with our expertise which we had due to our earlier work in bharat electronics as also in army and some of my colleagues who are also there with me we felt that defense electronics and avionics could be the first priority and that's what we concentrated upon we also felt as we went along that there will be certain manufacturing facilities would be necessary as the base so we bought over a company which was good in manufacturing and not only normal manufacturing but avionics great manufacturing which was already doing job for sukhoi aircraft for hil that we bought it and then put lot of investment so that it becomes a truly an international type of manufacturing organization then we had the focus clearly laid down that whatever we do we must have at least 50% of the export market to be with us with that in intention again there are two methods of getting into the export market your own products you sell go over there take part in the tenders in various countries the second one is you work through your partners in these particular countries we chose the second method because that is easier because those companies with whom we were working they were already strong in various uh, companies various countries so that could be exploited and that's exactly what happened and we have now almost 70, 60% now of our turnover is for export and this year by 31st of march maybe it will be 70% will be for export luckily the government of india has given lots and lots of support help to the msmes to get into the defense field for example on the offsets now offsets firstly any offset work is to be done it is considered as exports provided you don't buy anything any component from abroad so that is a huge benefit and we have utilized it there were three major projects which we have done for exports and, and also as offsets and all of them are related with the tank fire control systems for the indian mechanized forces and for t72 bmp and other portions which may be needed as subsystems this one we have done it and integrated later after it is come back from abroad fitted it on our tanks 
So now 1,000 T-72 tanks, 969 BMPs have been upgraded by us to the fullest satisfaction of our customer that is the Amatok. With the result, when there is a newer version of thermal imager based fire control system that is to be fitted on the BMPs, which is our Indian you know, uh, combat vehicle, infantry combat vehicle. So on that, the project we have undertaken with the knowledge that we have gained from working on this offset pro product, we have ourselves modified it, improved upon it to make it applicable for the BMP. In this, we have answered one of the, let us say, the criticisms some people make, which I find very, very unfounded criticism in the sense that offsets are taken only for doing the job and no, nothing more is being derived out of uh, the knowledge base, which is totally wrong. The example is what I quoted, because from something which you do on, on built to print basis, you, you also gain knowledge. It is for us to find out how that knowledge is applied for further improvements, second version of it, the third version of it, and how to do it. One of the things also, the same program since I am a date, I can mention is, we have done, utilizing the knowledge base we have done on T-72 thermal imager based fire control system, we have upgraded 40 MI-16 American tanks in Thailand, which is a great, I think, achievement. And on the basis of the success, 40 more is expected to be signed by us shortly for doing it in the same country. We have also offered the same thing in Thai, in Vietnam and in various uh, countries where the Russian equipment is in existence, some by ourselves, some through our partners LB. In this journey again, we thought that we could have technological support and also backup so we entered into a joint venture company agreement with Elbit for all the night vision devices, goggles, surveillance systems and that is taking shape in a very big way. This year maybe we will be reaching about first year itself over 10 million dollars, then about 100 million dollars in the next about 3 years period of time. 80% of which are exported, 80% of this 10 million dollars this year. And next year, in the next three years, $100 million, it will be the export. Then as we went along, we felt that space electronics is taking a new dimension. So last three years, we have been working on it. We had a good break from ISRO, which is one of the most fantastic organizations that we have in our country. Quick in decision making, technologically of the highest standard, quality requirements or again of the topmost priority. And they sit with you, stand with you and make you do whatever is the necessary things that is to be done for the space systems. So on that basis we did, along with them, the first satellite to be sent onto the uh, space as an Indian manufacturer, an Indian industry manufactured full satellite. That is the IRNSS 1I, which was launched last year on 12th of April from Sri Harikota on the PSLV-3 and it is a very very successful satellite even now as we are talking here it is up there in the sky you know the famous uh, uh, poem which we have all learned as children twinkle twinkle little star up above the sky above like a diamond in the sky that is there putting for us and that gives the eye in the Indian GPS information and navigation system which is received, now that Indian GPS will be part and parcel of all the receivers, all the communication equipment, both in civil as well as for defense purposes and also it will be there in all the taxis and other things for navigation purposes. So it is a huge contribution that has been made. While on the, on the, on the point of telling about the space, you have lots of satellites up above the sky. But on the ground segment, unless it goes and keeps space with it, whatever it is being beamed towards the Indian or our own neighboring countries will not be properly be utilized. Keeping that in mind, 
again isro had made out certain schemes and we became part of it for example in the northeastern state we have now established more than 450 ground terminals satellite terminals with hub to receive the beautiful programs made by isro and other organizations for education of children in various schools in the remote locations that terminals are giving it and is a huge benefit to them they like it very much the children like it in all god for second areas they have this now available thanks to isro and thanks to i would say our own teams work over there the second thing is when the honorable prime minister announced that he is making a sark satellite for the sark countries then we went over to chairman isro we told them that we must ensure that the sark satellite that is there and the programs that is being beamed has to be received by the ground terminals so on that basis he said let us make a sample system in all the sark countries show it to the people over there so we undertook that on a very very minimal cost and all the sark countries afghanistan maldives nepal bangladesh ceylon bhutan all of them we established the sample stations on the basis which was successful people liked it in afghanistan when we went to kandahar area in a remote terminal remote station our own uh, embassy gave a lot of protection to us and now we are establishing in all these stations about 80 to 100 ground terminals in all the countries we have already completed in bhutan we have completed in maldives next will be afghanistan so in that way in spreading the education and also side by side the diagnostic requirements are also uh, is is beamed from the satellites and also received through our receiving terminals which are given to various small hospitals small you know uh, the shops that are there where one doctor is sitting there without any assistance he can talk directly through our ground terminals hub station on to the satellite and through the satellite to the various specialists let's say in apollo hospital or in manipal so that he can have one to one uh, relationship as also expertise beamed on to him and he takes it and that has again become a tremendous source of encouragement to the people over there in these places and we consider as a company not only are we serving our own defense forces to the best possible extent and giving it to the field similarly we are also doing certain social obligations we are meeting so these are the twin requirements we are having in our company in this we have received tremendous support from the government of india from the ministry of defense and they have given us a sort of a same uh, sort of a ground level support and made us work along with other industries and we also share our work in an ecosystem in building up the tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 sort of an ecosystem for manufacture making it as a some sort of a consortium approach rather than a singleistic approach taking everybody along so that they also prosper we have a group of approximately 15 medium scale small scale industries whom we have recognized and they work with us on all these projects so that they also benefit about it this is the overall scheme that we have as a future i think it looks very bright <clears throat> we have today a confirmed order book position where where either we have already got the orders or we are the l1 declared as l1 uh, to the tune of 2400 crore rupees i don't think any defense electronics firm has got this much of confirmed system so it is always preferable to work in a consortium basis build an ecosystem have other industries joining and together we take care of the requirements of the customer that is our aim